Okay, so here is the criteria I have set for the Dead Mall Challenge. Number one, how you doing? Are you registered to vote, or would you like to if you're not already? I am registered to vote. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Here is the criteria for the Dead Mall Challenge. Number one, we're going to judge the anchor stores. And if you don't know what an anchor store is, the anchor store is usually like the big, more popular big chain stores like a Macy's or uh, Sears. Not that Sears exists. But uh, so we're going to judge the mall by its anchor store. So we're also going to judge the occupancy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count all the vacant stores and figure out some math. That's what we'll do. Okay. So we're going to judge the malls by the food court. What kind of food court is it? What kind? What's the? Are there any chains? Is there? What, is it? Is it just Asian food? Is it? Is there? What kind of pizza do they have? Is there anything good in the food courts? We'll judge that. We're gonna also point out the fanciest store in the mall. What is the most high-end luxury store inside the mall? Very exciting. Let the counting begin. So one of the anchor stores here at the Nishamni Mall is this AMC Theater, the AMC 24. It was voted one of the top 30 best movie theaters in all of North America. That's even Canada, too. What do you think of that? I think they have a bar in there. It's a pretty nice movie theater. So if you ever come here, that's a, you know, that's good to know. It's a good movie theater. Uh, and the other anchor store is Boscoff's. Eh, we'll see. And then uh, there are 65 stores total in this mall. And I'm going to count the vacancies now. So that's, that's what we're up to. Uh, this mall opened in 1989. Fun fact. And uh, Boscoff's, that's the anchor store. So let's see what they got going on here at Boscoff's in the Nishamni Mall. Very old school department store. Uh, they sell furniture. And look what else they have. Boscoff's also has... A travel center. An optical center. You can get glasses in the department store. And they also have a hearing aid center. I mean, that's an old school department store. And then they also have... The, this gives me the old time pharmacy vibes. They sell candy by the pound. I'm not sure how many department stores still do this. We're taking the down escalator in the only store you could take the down escalator in because this is the only store with a second floor. And here we are. Boscoffs. I asked a lady working in the candy section. I said, hey, do you uh, sell a lot of candy this way? And she said, yeah, we actually sell a lot, especially during the holidays. They were selling Reese cups for $5 a piece. So I don't know how that's... I mean, if you sell one of them, you can stay open all year, I guess. Never, never, ever, ever fill these out. Look how close I am to getting all your information. It's so easy. Nobody's even paying attention. I can just pick this up and leave. Nobody's even saying nothing to me. So don't ever fill these out. Uh, boy, this is... If this isn't a mall stage from the 80s, oh, I wonder if Tiffany came here. That's a good question. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actually a dumb question. But, oh, boy. I was working at a mall in 2005, and Aaron Carter was playing. It was pretty much a dead mall. The mall's not even open anymore. The Burlington County Mall. And... Uh, I think he's the one with tattoos all over his face because he's crazy. But anyway, so this is this is the mall stage. Fantastic. The Nishamni Indian. That's what it says. Don't get mad at me. I'm just reading. There he is. This used to be a water fountain. And it, oh, look, they got a little thing going on. This is like the main stretch of the mall. And if you look here... The majority of these stores are closed. Matter of fact, every store up to uh, Hot Topic 
every store here is closed. Um, the anchor store over there is closed. And here we are. It's a world of wonder here at the food court in the Shamney Mall. Chick-fil-A. You got a Chick-fil-A. And then you got the pizza shop here. And then you got Stir Fry 88. So that's it. You got Stir Fry 88, a pizza shop, and Chick-fil-A. I go with the pizza shop. That's just me. And then here's another one of these uh, where you fill out the information. Uh, the, this is right at the front door. So somebody just come grab it. They got your phone number. They open up a credit card in your name. Don't say I didn't warn you. You can tell it's bad when they're taking out the ATMs. My God. Oh my God, here's another one at the Nishamni Mall. Good Lord. Um, I'm going to say K Jewelers is the fanciest store in the Nishamni Mall. Right, this is the middle of the mall. Four o'clock on a Thursday. And if you look, everything from here down, everything's closed on this side. So I just finished my walk in the Nishamni Mall. 45 stores out of 65 stores are vacant. Uh-oh. I'm going to... This is pretty dead. It's a pretty dead moment. You only got three things in your food court. That's a, it's a bad sign. Um, and I'm going to... There were, I would say, one, two... Three, there was probably four stores that weren't even opened. So, I mean, it could, it could even be worse. So, they only have 20 stores inside this mall. That's crazy. So, the next mall in the Dead Mall competition is the Oxford Valley Mall. Opened in the early 70s. It's in the city, I think it's in Langhorne or Levittown. I don't know. Right, right uh, north of Philadelphia. So, uh, the occupancy, they said, uh, there's 120 stores in this mall. And, uh, let's see how many are occupied. Let's do it. Let's start counting. And the arcade, not really much of an arcade, but just a lot of skill games. And, uh, honestly, this is just for a place for children to gamble. Just my opinion. They actually have another arcade in this corner and there's games look at this not just children gambling and stuff but games to play car racing games the terminator over here look at this and you know what i'm only going to count the halloween stores as half a store because this store won't be here in november same thing goes for spirit halloween if they have one look at this Big time. Oh, that's enough to give you nightmares. I didn't know it did that. I almost shit myself. And the Oxford Valley Mall. Look at this big time. Second floor with stores. It's about five o'clock when a uh, was it Thursday evening? Not too busy. So the one um, anchor store was J.C. Penney's, and the other anchor store is Macy's. That's somewhat. Uh, it's a. I don't know. Is that better than Boscoff's? Let's find out. Not exactly a. a travel agency or a hearing doctor or but they do have a Toys R Us well sort of it's, there goes Jeffrey the giraffe and inside Macy's they have these little tiny toy stores it's just a, it's just a, they named their toy department Toys R Us it is nothing like Toys R Us whatsoever they don't have an eye doctor but they do have a sunglass hut um I'm going to say Macy's is better than Boscoff's, although, no, hold on, let me see. Just because the stuff's more expensive, does it make it nicer? I don't know. 
Where would you rather shop? A Macy's or a Boscoff's? There's a few people in here, and there's not many vacant stores, surprisingly. And what they do at malls is they just, you know, if there's not a real store, they'll just make it look like it's a wall. But really, that should be a store, that should be a store, that's a store, that's a store, that's a store. Uh, the Victoria's Secret doesn't go that long. The Foot Locker doesn't go that long. So it makes it look like it's more occupied than it really is. All right, so what we got? We got Cold Stone, Japanese teriyaki sushi, ramen noodles, dumplings, Orient, Oriental food, Master Wok, Charlie's Philly cheesesteaks, pizza and pasta, So if you're into Asian food, I highly recommend the Oxford Valley so I'm Mall. I'm say out of 120 stores, about 30. It could be 35 because you can see how they have the store. You're not sure. Could this be one store or two stores? And, you know, uh, in, in, so I'm going to say 35. Let's just say 35 because, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, who gives a shit? What would be the fanciest store here? I'm going to have to say Macy's. J.C. Penney's cutting hair. Where you going, hon? Uh, listen, I'm going to go down to J.C. Penney's. J.C. Penney's? They're still open? Yeah. Well, why are you going to J.C. Penney's? I'm getting a haircut. And our final mall in the Dead Mall Challenge if that's what we're even calling this, is the Franklin Mills Mall. If you call it the Philadelphia Mills, you're an asshole. Let's check out the stats on the Franklin Mills. All right, the Franklin Mills Mall opened in 1989. Over 200 stores are here to experience at the Franklin Mills. All right, here we are at a food court at the Franklin Mills. You got Charlie's. You got Popeyes, right? That's good. You got Little Tokyo. The chicken is banging there. Sabaros. I have no idea how that pizza company stays in business with the garbage pizza that they sell, but they sell it. So you have one, two, three, four. You got four, and you got this, the uh, Gyro, Gyro, falafel place. One, two, three, four, five. I would probably eat at Popeye's. It may not have as many selections as the Oxford Valley Mall, but the selection is better. More of a variety here. And back in the day, there used to be two food courts in this mall. Now there is one. So I'm at the opposite end of where I started my walk. Uh, the one anchor store is a Dave and Buster's. It's kind of like an arcade bar restaurant. I think they have a bowling alley in there. Um, but everything else, besides the Sam Ash and the Calvin Klein store, everything else is shut up. Shut up? Closed up. Everything else is closed up. And if you look over here, there's a wall. And... When this mall opened, there was another quarter of this mall. Um, there was like a, 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 a like a Sims, a clothing store called Sims. I think Farmer was here. There was a bunch of stores. So I can't get an accurate count when all the vacant stores inside the Franklin Mills because a, a portion of the mall is closed off. I'm going to say about 45 vacant stores out of uh, 200. Um, so that's about, yeah, it's about one quarter of the, the mall's vacant. I would say the uh, fanciest store in the Franklin Mills Mall would definitely be Saks off of Fifth Avenue, which I would say is probably the fanciest store out of all the stores we've seen. The second food court at the Franklin Mills Mall used to be an Arby's. So, yeah, like, see, these are, like, one, two, three. That's probably, like, five vacant stores, and I, I can't really get a good count. 
but I would say about a quarter of the mall is dead. You know, like six o'clock on a Thursday, nobody's here. I have no idea who shops here. Look at this. So if you want to go to the Frank, uh, if you want to go to a mall and take pictures at a place that probably won't be open in a decade, I do it in the Shamney Mall. Maybe <clears throat> if it wasn't for Boscoff's, that mall wouldn't even be open. I think this one, this here, is is going to be around for a while because I mean there's so many stores here, and you can actually just shut off sections of the mall. And uh, Oxford Valley, kicking ass, thriving. In a time of uh, economic unsurety. Oh, that's not a is that is that a sentence? I think that could be. A little scientific experiment. Look at this. Is this Halloween or are we selling whore clothes? Oh, I think it's whore clothes. Uh, that's my little experiment. You see which one is the dead mall compared to the other dead mall. And uh, it took me three and a half hours to make this video with all the traveling and walking around them. A lot of mall walking today, a little exercise. So if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch, my merch, it's fire. And if you want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. You get bonus videos, a postcard. Here we are! You get bonus videos, postcards, and all that stuff. Well, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Toodles!